Matthew chapter 26, verse 28. I'm talking about Brother Reed. For oh, this is my blood. Yahweh Shah is saying, this is my blood. Of the New Testament. Of what? The New Testament. Of the New Testament. Which is shed for many for the remission of sins. Which is shed for the whole world. The many. Which is shed for everybody. Many. The Bible says that it was shed for, read that again, brother. Matthew chapter 26, verse 28. Read, brother. For this is my blood. The Bible says, for this is my blood. For the New Testament. For the who? The New Testament. For the New Testament. Which is shed for many. Which is shed for many. For the remission of sin. For the remission of what, brother? The, the remission of sin. And it was given only to many. Not everybody. But he said, this is my blood that was shed for many. He didn't say this is my blood that is shed for everybody. He said, this is my blood that is shed for many. Get it right. Stop lying about what the Bible is saying. Keeping our people in a docile state of mind. So they can miss what God has for them. Because you know it's not for you. So you're teaching them a docile doctrine. Ain't nothing changed from the doctrine since slavery. The same doctrine they taught us when we came off them slave ships in 1619 is the same doctrine that they teach in today. That's right. The same doctrine that keeps us on the bottom and not on the top. Read, brother. Mark chapter 11. Verse 20, Mark chapter 10, verse 20. Read what the Bible says, brother. What did it say? Read. Or Mark chapter 11, verse 45. Read, brother. For even the Son of Man. For even the Son of Man. Came not to be ministered. He didn't come to be ministered to. Read. Unto, but to minister. But to minister. And to give his life a ransom for many. And to give his life a ransom for many. Read not all, but read that again, please, brother. Mark chapter 10, verse 45. Read. For even the Son of Man. The Bible says, for even the Son of Man. Not to be ministered. He did not come here to be ministered to. A to, but to minister and to give his life a ransom for many. No, for all. Many. For a thousand. Many. For the whole world. Many. He said he came to give his life to many. So many is not the whole world. Many is not everybody. Many is a select group of people if they keep God's law, statutes, and commandments. That's what the Bible says. I didn't say it. That's what the Bible says. I'm just a servant. I'm just a deliverer. I am not the one that wrote this Bible. So if you got a problem with me, you need to go to 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 and 8. If you, ain't, you don't believe this, you ain't got no problem with me. You got a problem with the most high God. Go take it up with him. I think you'd rather have a problem with me than to have a problem with God. Don't you think, brother? That's right. People crazy in this world that they read, brother. Second Corinthians chapter 5 verse 21. Read what the Bible says. For he hath made him to be sin for us who knew no sin. See, he didn't know no sin, but he became sin for us. That we might be made the righteousness of God in him. That we through him, we may have the righteousness of the most high God. Because his word teaches us righteousness. His word teaches us the laws, statutes, and commandments. You don't learn that in the church. The church don't teach you about no law, no statute, no commandment. They tell you that stuff is gone away with. That's why the church has more divorces in it than anybody. That's why the preachers are getting killed today. That's what the Bible says, brothers and sisters, because your preachers don't help. They hurt. That's they right. take it up tied, and the Bible don't
don't talk about no pie. You say the ties of your crop, your corn. They don't talk about no time, your money. That's, that's a lot that the preachers tell you. They don't care anything about you. They care about your money. And that's it. Read, hey, brother. Matthew chapter 20, verse 28. Mean what the Bible say? Even as the Son of Man came not to be ministered, even though the Son of Man came not to be preached to, uh, to but to minister, but to minister, and to give his life a ransom, and to give his life a ransom for many. For how, wait a minute. I thought it was for everybody. Many. I thought the Bible said that he came to give his life for everybody. Many. What did the Bible say? For a ransom of many. Read that scripture again, brother. Matthew chapter 20, verse 28. Read what the Bible says. Even as the Son of Man. Even as the Son of Man. Came not to be ministered. He didn't come here for nobody to be preaching to him. Uh, to, but to minister. But to minister to people. And to give his life. And to give his life. A ransom. For a ransom. For many. For how many? Many. For 20. Many. No, for the whole world. Many. For who? Many. He came to give his life for many, not for the whole world. That's a lie that they tell you in them Christianity churches. Because they ain't Christian. Christian are those that believe in God and follow him. But Christianity is a man-made doctrine. That's right. Baptist, Methodist, Church of God and Law, Jehovah Wickedness, the Mormons, the Catholic, and all those people. Those are man-made doctrines. And the Bible does not speak of any of that nonsense. Read, brother. Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. Read what the Bible say. The King James Bible. We ain't talking about all them scoffer Bible that's going to try to include people that God did not include. We talking about what the Bible say verbatim. Come unto me, all ye that labor. All ye that labor. Who is laboring in this world today? The so-called black man. The so-called Mexican man. The so-called native and Seminole Indians. The Puerto Ricans. All those people. We are laboring today. Because we broke God's law, statutes, and commandments. And we're not supposed to be paying anything. But those are the curses. Now we got to pay rent. We got to pay mortgage. We got to pay PG&E. We got to pay all these things. Because we sin against God's law, statutes, and commandments. Because the church said that. God's laws was done away with because Jesus nailed him to the cross. The only law that was done away with was the law of sacrifice. That's right. Because he became the perfect lamb. He became the perfect sacrifice. So we didn't have to give any sin offerings anymore because he died for our sin. He was the perfect lamb. So the law of sacrifice is all that's done away with. But the ceremonial law, the civil law, the dietary law right. and the moral law, all those laws are still in effect. But your lying, greedy preacher ain't going to tell you that because he just wants your money. Read, brother. Come unto me, all ye that labor uh -huh. and are heavy laden, uh -huh. and I will give you rest. And I will give you rest. Come to me. Come back to the law of statutes and commandments. And I'll change your situation and your circumstances. But if you don't come back to the law of statutes and commandments, it's going to get worse for you and worse for you and worse for you. Just like the book of Revelation 18 and 4 say, And I heard another voice saying, Come out of them, my people, that you won't have to be dealing with what they are going to deal with for the way that they treated God's people. That's right. Read. John chapter 1 verse 12. Read what the Bible say, brother. But as many as receive him. But as many what? But as many as receive him. But as many that have received him. To them gave a power to become the son of God. He gave them power to become the sons of God. Even to them that believe on his name. Even to them that believe on his name. That's what the Bible says. 
Jacob. 